Condolences were offered in our bulletin from November 20th, November 2020 through October 2021. They are Robert Adiz, Jose Alaniz, Amelia Parker, Alicia Araga, Georgie Bird Bergen. Barbara Bodeker, Jimmy Bra, Bessie Broussard, Patricia Butler, Johnny Chavitou. <laughs> James Padre, John Kushishen, Ella Mae Drabeck, Isabel Delfimo, and Donald Dunstan. Eva Flores, Georgia George Garcia, Robert Herbert, Christina Gugula, and Rosie Kishi. Mary Helen Justy, Michael Orca, Barbara Graham, John Luce Justy, Jane Hackerman. Bobby Mayoski, William Pickle Jr., Linda Fiedler, Jimmy Jones, Molly Jones. Michael Kollowitz, Elvin Koshin, Alan Lannick, Carol LeBlanc, and Brian Romero. Sandra Lynn, Oscar Luera, Gerardo Macias, Ramona Mekitar, and Michael Mayhem. Elizabeth Matufel, Victor Marish, Jan Marshall, Elvira Marino, and Mary Mahalik. Teresa Morales, Lynn Liu, James Nord, Philip Okiki, and Ludwig Okuhe. Ophelia Passion, Roger Phillips, Thomas Reber, Gordon Reed, Rosemary Responde. Frank Rias, Michael Richard, Clara Reekenfilson, Norbert Schott, and Paul Seas. Olga Speller, Lauren Schimmick, Nestor L. Sleva, Sean Stevenson, and Constance Sully. Lynn Talifuse, Bernadette Thomas, Dorothy Tice, Georgia West, Robert Wheaton. Yvonne West, Don Yeager Jr. Eternal rest, grant me to them, O oh Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. Amen.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. My brothers and sisters, in this Mass, we pray for the intention of Hannah Daus, and also pray for the recovery of a young man named Walker who is in pretty poor condition. Lord Jesus, you are our high priest forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your perfect sacrifice, you gained our salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, lead us to God, the source of all love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God 
with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words, which I have joined on you today. The word of the Lord.
one of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the rabbis, the Pharisees, and the scribes, or the scholars of the, of the law, are more likely to discuss to one another about one topic. And that topic is which commandment is the most important one. The reason they always discuss to one another about this topic because Judaism has up to 613 laws. It's a lot. And then among these 613 laws, there are 248 laws that allow them to do things for themselves and for others. And 365 laws that forbid them to do things for themselves and for one another. Therefore, living day in and day out and facing with these 613 laws, they are confused sometimes. Therefore, in the Gospel we hear today, a scribe, namely a scholar of the law, approaches Jesus and asks him a question. To me, this man is a smart guy because he comes to Jesus and asks him to give him a summary of the law. Just like the book, right? If we have a thick book and we don't want to finish the whole book, we just read the summary, right? Same thing with this guy. He comes to Jesus and asks him to give him a summary of all the laws. And the answer Jesus gives to him is this. The first one is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. The reason Jesus gives him this answer because the nature of God is love. And the ultimate law of God is the law of love. Therefore, love God and love one another is very, very important. So, a question for us to reflect upon is this. How are we going to love God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul? How? So, to me, the answer is this. To love God with all our heart, our soul, our mind is this. We are called to come to church on every Sunday, not just on Easter Sunday, or not just on Christmas, and don't be CEO Catholic, namely Christmas, Easter only, right? But be a regular Catholic, namely going to church every Sunday. That is how we show that we love God with all our heart, our soul, and our mind. And Please come early or on time. Don't be late. 
and then please do not leave early. That is how you show that you give to the Lord completely that Sunday Mass. For my Mass, only 59 minutes. I'm serious. <laughs> Read my lips, all right? And then sometimes we have a speaker comes over to talk about this and that. It will be longer, but normally my Mass is 59 minutes. Please break my lips, all right? So, because let's say, my brothers and sisters, every week, God gives us 168 hours. That is a lot. And on Sunday, He wants us to get back to Him only one hour, or 59 minutes, right? But somehow, we fail to do so. And we cut the head, we cut the tail, we only get to him the middle. And uh, I mentioned to you before that that I call the crawfish max, right? Because when you eat crawfish, you throw away the head, you throw away the tail, you eat only the middle, right? So don't give God the crawfish max, but give him the max, the lobster max, right? Lobster. We eat all, everything, right? So love God with all our heart, our soul, our mind, namely, we are called to go to church every Sunday and then come early and stay the whole Mass and then don't be early. And then how are we going to love God with all our strength? So the answer is we are called to participate in the Mass. For example, when the priest says, the Lord be with you, and you should answer, and with your spirit, please do so. Don't just keep silent all the time, but respond or participate in the Mass. And that is how we love God with all our strength. For the whole week, we eager to be here to respond to the Lord. And also with your spirit, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, something like that. So we show that we love Him, we are willing to respond to this call. And then, furthermore, please join just one ministry of the parish, just one, and then fulfill all the requirements of that ministry. Don't but this is so many, and then at the end of the day, you cannot fulfill anything at all. But try to participate only one ministry, just one. And that is how we love God with all our strength. And then, how about love our neighbors? So, I don't ask you to go to your neighbor across the street, knock on the door and ask, what, do, what can I do for you? What do you need today? No, but we are called to begin to love our neighbor from our home. From our home, from the family. Family members love one another, care for one another. That is how we begin to love one another. And if we have them in the family, members love one another, we go from there to bring that love out into the world. If we cannot love our members in the family, there's no way to love people out there. That is fake. To me, that is fake. We have to start from the family first. And then, one of the Catholic thinkers says this, the best gift that a father can give to his children is to love their mom. And the best gift that a mother can give to her children is to love their father. Namely, husband and wife are called to love one another. And through that love, you will be handed down to the children. So that is how we love God and love our neighbors. So may God help us to realize that the kingdom of God is so close very close to us, not far away, but we are called to start or begin from our family. <clears throat> and right there, love begins. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please, 
I, the living one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, the law and the spiritual and the invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten God made, consubstantial of the Father, through him all things for me, for us men without salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became him, for our sake who stood by the point of silence, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of Recognizing that every good gift comes from above, we confidently offer our prayers. That church leaders will be living reminders that the love of God and neighbor is greater than any law or statute. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all public officials, especially those chosen in the upcoming election, will enact and uphold laws which reflect God's higher law, we pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayers. That those who feel unloved will know God's love through the outreach of this community of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayers. That there might be an end to conflict based on religion, that all people might stand together in peace on the common ground of love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayers. That our young people might grow ever deeper in love with their God and accept his call to serve in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayers. That those who have died will be welcomed into God's loving embrace, especially Tony Rohe, the husband of Pam Rohe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayers. This Mass is being offered for the intention of Hannah Dawes. For this intention and for those we hold in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayers. God of love, you are the source of all power. Hear the prayers of your people gather to love and serve you. Help us to serve each other so that we may come closer to your kingdom. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to live right and just. Our beauty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you make all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he swept out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
the mystery of to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Dinando, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have had sleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O oh Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Follow Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for announcements. Are you looking for a deeper connection with the Holy Spirit? Come join us for a special retreat here at Sacred Heart, November the 7th from 1 to 4 p.m. Reconnect with the third person of the Trinity. Please RSVP by calling the church office or see the bulletin for more details. And join the world in prayer, November the 2nd through December the 12th. Pray to pray for hearts to be open to God. See page 7 of the bulletin for all of the intentions and more information. The church offices will be closed on Monday, November the 1st. Regular hours will resume on Tuesday, November the 2nd. Thank you, Deacon. And my brothers and sisters, this year, All Saints Day will fall on Monday, and that will not be an obligation. So, uh, as you know, in the U.S. diocese, if the solemnity falls on either Saturday or Monday, it will be the uh, obligation, uh, except for Christmas. So, however, we, if you come, if you want to come, come at 8 a.m. Mass uh, uh, on Monday, we still have Mass, and on the All Souls, namely November, November 2nd, uh, we will, this year, we will pray at Davis Green Lawn Cemetery on Sunday, November 7th at 3 p.m. So if on uh, November 7th, if you want to pray for the dead, please, <coughs> come, please come to there is a green lawn cemetery, and then we will have a service there. Normally, it will be the rosary, and I will bless uh, all the, the graves over there. Thank you so much. And uh, 
Please state the date, November 13. We will have Mass here at 5 p.m. And then after Mass, we will have Eucharistic procession around the campus. Uh, Bishop Guitar Lawyer will be here uh, based on what the conversation between him and I. So he will be here, but we're waiting for the final liturgy form to be approved. And then, uh, but technically, he will be here on that day, two weeks from now. So please save the day, November 13, and we'll have the Eucharistic procession around the campus at the Mass. Thank you. And before setting out, let us give a big hand for our cantors. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Together we pray for our nation. God, our Father, give us life. We entrust the United States of America to your loving care. You are the Thank you. 